What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to go over some perimeter and area word problems. All right, so let's start with this first one right here. It says, find the length of a rectangle with a perimeter of 50 inches and a width of 10 inches. All right, so the first thing you always want to do is draw a picture because that's going to clear up a lot of things. So we're talking about a rectangle, right? So let's draw a rectangle. Now, what do we know? So it says uh, it has a perimeter of 50 inches. So we know that the perimeter is equal to 50 inches. And we know the width is 10 inches. Okay, so if these sides are the lengths, right, the top and the bottom, this is a length and this is a length, the width is 10 inches. So the width is on the sides, right? So 10 inches on this side and 10 inches on this side. Okay, so we're trying to solve for the length right here, right? So in order to do that, we're going to have to use the perimeter that's given to us. Okay, so the perimeter, how do you find the perimeter of a square or rectangle? Well, you get the perimeter by adding up all the sides together, right? So it's going to, we can write it as the length plus the length. So the length plus the length plus the width plus the width, right? Plus the width plus the width. So that's how you get the perimeter of a square or a rectangle, right? But we can also rewrite this a little bit. We can say that the perimeter is equal to L plus L. I can rewrite that as 2L, right? And then I can say plus W plus W, which I could rewrite as 2W. Okay, so let's just fill in some information we know. So we know the perimeter is equal to 50 inches, right? So I'm going to say 50 is equal to... I don't know what L is, right? That's what we're trying to solve for. So I'll just write 2L plus 2W. And I do know what W is, right? It's 10 inches. So 2 times W is going to be 2 times 10. Okay, so again, simplifying some more, we're going to say 50 is equal to 2L plus 2 times 10, which is 20, right? And then solving for L right here, we're going to have to get rid of this 20. So I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides, right? Because what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other, okay? So then these 20s cancel out. 20 minus 20 just is equal to 0. So then on this side of the equation, we're just going to be left with 2L. And then that's equal to 50 minus 20, which is equal to 30, okay? Now, lastly, we have to get rid of this 2, right? So in order to undo this multiplication, we're going to divide by 2, and what you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay, so then these twos cancel out. So then on this side, we're just going to be left with L. And then that's equal to 30 divided by 2, which is equal to 15. Okay, 15 what? We have to put units on it because we're talking about length, right? So it's going to be inches, right? Because we have inches here, we have inches here. The whole problem is in inches. So I'll rewrite it really quick. So L is equal to 15 inches. Okay, so then this would be your answer. So L is 15 there, 15 inches, and L is 15 inches up here. Okay, and lastly, I actually forgot to include it in the problem up here, but let's find the area really quick. Okay, so again, the area of a square or rectangle is equal to the length times the width, right? So then the area in this case is going to be the length, which is 15 inches, and then we're going to multiply that by the width, which is 10 inches. Okay, so what's 15 times 10? Well, that's 150. Okay, 15 times 1 is 15, and then you just tack on the 0. That's a quick way you can multiply by 10s, okay? And then lastly, what's inches times inches? Well, inches times inches is equal to inches squared. Okay, whenever you're talking about area, you're always going to have a square right here. Okay, so the area is equal to 150 inches squared. All right, so this problem says the width of a rectangle is 2 feet less than the length. It also says the perimeter is 52 feet. So it says find the length, width, and area. Okay, so first thing I always like to do, again, is draw a picture. So we're talking about a rectangle, right? So let's draw a rectangle. Okay, what else do we know? Uh, well, we know the perimeter is equal to 52 feet. So the perimeter is equal to 52 feet. 
Okay, uh, what else do we know? So it says the width of the rectangle is two feet less than the length. Okay, so that means we have a length here, a length here, and then it says the width is two feet less than the length. So the width is the same thing as the length, but it's two feet less, okay? So this is how we're gonna write the width. We're gonna write it as L minus two because the width is two feet less than the length. And we're gonna do that on both sides. Okay, so now let's set up our equation again using the perimeter. So again, the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is the perimeter is equal to two L plus two W, right? But in this case, we're gonna rewrite this a little bit because we don't know what the width is. But we do know what it is in terms of the length. So we're gonna write this as the perimeter is equal to two times the lengths plus two, and then the width, I'm gonna write it as L minus two. Okay, so let's solve for L in this equation. Now, filling in what we know, the perimeter is 52 feet, right? So the perimeter we know is 52. And then that's gonna be equal to 2L plus, okay, and then what we have to do here is take this two and distribute it into these parentheses. So we're gonna take the two and multiply it by the L and then multiply it by the two right here, okay? so. 2 times L, that's equal to 2L, right? And then 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And then since you're subtracting here, you just bring that straight down right there. Okay, and now that we distributed, you can also drop the parentheses, so you don't need to bring those down. Okay, so now let's simplify this equation. So we're going to have 52 is equal to 2L plus, and that's a 2, right? 2L plus 2L. 2L plus 2L is equal to 4L. And then we have this minus 4 right here at the end. Minus 4. Okay, so then solving for L right here, I need to get rid of this minus 4, so I'm going to add 4 on both sides. Okay, so then this minus 4 plus 4, those cancel out, just go to 0. So then on this side, we're just going to be left with 4L, and then that's equal to 52 plus 4, which is equal to 56. Okay, and now lastly, solving for L right here, we're just gonna divide by four on both sides. Okay, so then these fours cancel out, so we're just left with L on this side. And then that's equal to 56 divided by four, which is 14. Okay, and I can flip that, right? I can write it as L is equal to 14. Okay, 14 what? Well, all of our problem is in feet, right? So L is equal to 14 feet. Okay, so we found the length. Now let's find the width and the area. So first of all, the width is this right here. So the width, I'll write it right here. The width is equal to L minus two, right? L minus two. So the width is equal to 14, right? The length is 14, so 14 minus two is equal to 12. And remember, our units are feet. Okay, so the width is equal to 12 feet. Okay, and then lastly we have the area, right? So the area is equal to the length times the width, which is equal to the length is 14, times the width, which we just found to be 12. Okay, so the area is equal to, well, 14 times 12 is equal to 168. Okay, and then the feet times the feet are feet squared. Okay, so then your answer right here is area is equal to 168 feet squared. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.